What's going on guys? Gunsir back again on another MLB The Show 18 Dominus video today. It is All-Star Summer, not officially because the All-Star Game is still like two weeks away or something like that. The Home Run Derby, all the festivities in the real life MLB you guys already know. By the way, is Bryce Harper going to compete in the Home Run Derby or not? It all depends on the All-Star Game. Is he going to get selected? Does he deserve it? Hell no. He... <laughs> He's batting like 200, man, but we all know the All-Star Game is just, uh, it's pretty much a popularity contest nowadays, but anyway, All-Star Summer content and MLB The Show, of course, we have set 8 now available, and, uh, 88 Carlos Ruiz, I'll show you his stats quick, nothing too exciting, and then there is currently the Split Squad 1 event, there's gonna be 2 uh, split squad events to come out and the reward is an 87 all-star Zach Britton But what might be the best out of this if you get 20 cumulative wins you get an 85 to 89 live series diamond Which will definitely lower the prices of those especially because the rank season is ending really soon But an 85 to 89 diamond you could get a Harper uh, Ironically enough um, you could get a lot of good guys that go for a good amount of stubs But let's quickly look at Carlos Ruiz nothing too exciting in my opinion he doesn't look like too great of a catcher. He's got pretty good contact, average power, you know, decent fielding, no speed whatsoever. Uh, he is a usable card, but I wish he had a little bit more power, but his contact is not too bad. But we're here for one reason and one reason only, damn it, and that is the 93 overall Tony Gwynn, who, yes, does not have that much power. I know, 36 aside, but he has amazing contact, amazing vision, 90 arm strength, 86 speed, and 96 stealing. This card is going to be kind of like a left-handed Victor Robles if you guys want to go ahead and compare to that. Although he is going to be a better defender and probably a little better of a hitter. He doesn't have quite the amount of power he has, but he's also a lefty, which is good. So you can kind of platoon those. 93 overall. Looks like a good card. I want to get him, but a lot of people, they might not know how to get him because it doesn't even show anything in the Diamond Dynasty mode. That would lead you to believe that this is even a card for some reason. They don't advertise that, but the All-Star Summer Program. So there is a few things. First, you do have a random free All-Star. It gives you 1% and that's this 81 Clay Buckholtz. Uh, his pitches are actually really good. He's got a cutter, a 12-6, and a circle changeup. Uh, this card actually looks really good. <laughs> his per nines might not be the best, but his pitches are great. Um, and then you do have submissions. I already did complete some of them. This is AL one game hitting and NL one game hitting. Basically, you had to do like 10 runs, five extra base hits, and three stolen bases for, you know, in one single game with all American League hitters which is not really too hard. And then you get 15% every time. So I did those two and I have 31%. So here's where I am at now. All of these are one game missions. And uh, you know, you do see this though, the all-star collection. This is like the main thing that's gonna stop some people from doing this. You do still need 10 all-star summer event wins which can be any of the three that they come out with. Uh, actually four, they're gonna have four events uh, in the total of All-Star Summer. And you have like 26 days to complete, 10, uh, 10 event wins, and some of them are gonna be three innings, I'm sure. So this really is not that bad. Uh, you can actually knock that out right now. But the All-Star Summer, the All-Star Legends or Flashback Collections, I only have 35 out of 50. I'm only at 70%. Something right off the bat that I cannot stand. Why do you have to to get this done before the all-star events are gonna be over with that makes no no sense to me that makes no possible pleasable sense why do you have to do this sooner than rather than that because if you get some of these events done those are all all-star players that you do get why can't you put oh my whatever <laughs> whatever man but you guys can see a lot of the guys I have I bought off the market right away I already had them then I got like the career art, Gary Carter, Chase Utley, Don Sutton, this is from the position program, Mike Piazza from him, career art, this is a collection mission, a lot of diamonds, some guys not easy to get. I'm going to show you some guys that uh, you can easily, pretty easily get that are all-star players, so this is not too expensive for you. The first one is going to be Jim Johnson, as you guys can see right there, he's only a silver. All you have to do is get uh, get the Baltimore Orioles to 25%. So honestly, you can you can play the Nationals on rookie. That's five percent. Do the Yankees? That's ten percent. Uh, Twenty percent gets you to the rookie Palmer. Um, and then to get five more percent, all you would really need is to exchange a live series bobbleheads or baseball autographs, which is not that hard, which is pretty easy. 
And then you have an all-star prayer. It probably took you, I don't know, 45 minutes and 2K. And then you have an all-star player that you guys can go ahead and use. And you're going to make some stubs back anyway by doing some of these missions. You get 250 nice and clean right there. But that is one easy all-star player to get. And there is still some more, of course, like I know Steven Wright, he's auctionable. Uh, some of these cards you do get for free from Team Epics or you get them when you start a mission. Steven Vote, I believe uh, he's one of these missions, which I probably don't recommend really because, yeah, 30% of jerseys do not do that. That's going to be too expensive. Um, and I'll, I'll tell you guys, my uh, there's some frustrating things about this, but... Uh, these three are all 50% team epics, so I'll show you guys that's not that hard to do this one if you don't have the Griffey program done That's gonna take a while. This is a mission starter. I know I actually have him uh, Joe panic you get him along the way on your journey as well as Clay Buckles and Mark Melenson And then as well you do get two you get three all-star player packs Which you can sell if you want but if you do want the Tony Gwynn obviously you're gonna want to keep those so keep in mind, basically, whatever you have plus five, you're going to get one. Uh, yeah, because you'd have to have the uh, compl uh, the collection done by the time you get that. So one, three, four, five, and six. There's actually six all-star players that you get along the way on the journey over to Tony Gwynn. And uh, let me just see if I can spot some any other easy ones. This is along the lines of his immortal in this career arc. Not the easiest to get. A lot of these guys, they just released onto the market. Um, so you can get them that way. Doug Drayback is a 50% team epic. Uh, this is a full team epic, I do believe. Um, but a lot of these guys are actually in Conquest. I did not complete Conquest, as many of you guys may know, because personally, I'd rather grind for like career arc stuff. Uh, stuff like that, you guys already know. But there's actually one, two, three. Uh, there's three Ulster players that you get just in Conquest alone, the first level of it. And the first level of Conquest is usually not too hard. You get this Ian Desmond, you get Cole Hamels, who's actually a really good card. The circle changeup is my favorite pitch in the game. Uh, and then you also get Jim Edmonds, another good card that you guys can go ahead and have, and that's three. And if you guys do go ahead and decide to do this, you can get five, which... Uh, I don't know. I probably don't recommend doing Conquest Extreme if you guys have not already started just to get this because that's gonna take a lot of time But regular Conquest a lot easier a lot simpler a lot less frustrating You can get three all-star players very very simply But otherwise many of these guys are gonna be 50% team epics that you're gonna get They did say they're gonna have a ticket counter update next week on July 3rd so keep in mind for that uh there is a zach Cosart. he's the only all-star and i think chris archer is also an all-star player i caved i did not want to spend my tickets but i wanted to complete this so i did go ahead and buy the zach Cosart. i i didn't want to and i'm probably gonna buy the archer too i really wish it wasn't a thing uh the main thing that i'm frustrated though because yeah am i gonna be able to obtain 50 by the time uh 17 days pass probably like i said this is a 25 percent team epic uh these are all 50 percent and i'll just show you a 50 percent team epic it's really not too hard to get i'll just show you the white Sox, for example plus you get a 25 percent chris sale who's really nice all you're really are gonna have to do is you're gonna have to play the twins on veteran i believe all-star difficulty the cubs on rookie exchange live series bobbleheads baseball autographs and then you're gonna have to do the Rookie Quintana mission, and then you're going to have a mission for Chris Sale, and that will get you to 50%. And that's an all-star player, and you do the same for the Brewers, for Giovanni Garrado. And uh, I believe there's one other guy, I don't remember who he is. I know, like, Doug Drabic has those. So you can get some Team Epics-wise. Otherwise, the only way to get these cards are from the market, all-star. They're going for, like, 5000 a pop, at least the golds that they just released. Why, you ask? Because the only way to obtain these cards, I think you can pull them in regular packs, but they're definitely not too common if they're all going for 5k. Really, the only way people get these is through the all-star player packs, and you only get three, so... 
I really don't like that they did that. Hopefully they add a bunch of like bronzes and commons into the ticket counter which aren't too expensive and hopefully this video will change and it's going to be a lot easier to go ahead and get 50 players especially because it ends you know like 10 days before the whole all-star summer like event uh all ends but doesn't really make sense to me but that is how you guys can go ahead and get the Tony Gwynn. And uh, just a quick plug, if you guys do need some help getting some stubs, I do have a slew of how to make stub guides that you guys can go ahead and check out. I'll leave those down below in the description as well as in the top right hand corner. Make sure to check those out if you guys are in need of some stubs. Your boys got you, man. I have a lot of good methods to help you guys out and I should have another how to make stub method coming out tomorrow. Make sure to stay tuned for that. But that is the Tony Gwynn All-Star Summer Event. I'm excited. I'm probably gonna grind this. Go ahead and get that Zach Britton. And uh, on, I recommend you guys do the same thing because it is another all-star player that you guys can get. Uh, 25 uh, cumulative wins in about a week, I guess, July 9th, okay. About 10 days starting from now. Six inning games, but like I said, 85 to 89 live series diamond. You can get some good stuff from there. You can get like a Bryce Harper, like I already said. Let me just check to see who else you can get because I'm pretty sure there's still a good amount of value in these kind of live series cards. Yeah, Machado's going for 94. Harper is 87, Jose Ramirez is 52, Judge is 78. There's some good value. Make sure to do these events, guys. Really, really worth it in my opinion. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below. Let me know if you guys are excited for All-Star Summer. Who's going to win the Home Run Derby? And who are your guys' All-Star predictions? Let me know down below in the comments. But hope you guys have a great rest of the day. And there you guys come out. Yeet. Love is love and hate is hate. To die is an awesome adventure and I can hardly wait. Earth is a prison, I need a great escape You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space You know I'm in my zone, you know I'm in my zone I took a bite of the glory, I 